We had an interesting conversation with Mr. Sandeep Agarwal, the current CEO of Give India. He took over the reins of Give India on 1st April 2015, prior to which he was the CMO of Sarko Global Services, which is a leading MNC in the BPO space. He has an engineering degree from the University of Pune and a master's from the Jamnalal Bajaj Institute of Management Studies in Mumbai. He has previously worked with Premier Automobiles and Ford India, but he had a vision, a dream and a drive for change. So leaving behind his uh, successful and established career, he took over the reins of Give India. I am different. My hope and prayer is that you will not fall for the same mistakes and we will learn from our mistakes and actually make this thing better. So what piece of advice would you want to give to the So, so the biggest mistake was that we, as a generation, we did not care about mother nature. If you look at India, uh, I would play the previous generation, our generation, we have exploited the land. For example, if you see a lot of agriculture in today's land, because people have put a lot of pesticides, grow more crops, cash crops, to make more money, they have they ruined the land. Some of land will take years to become. Agricultural friendly. We have cut down forests, creating problems. We have got portable water issues. We have got constructed without thinking. You know, you have seen the recent earthquakes in Nepal and other places. It's all about also related to the kind of environmental damage we have done as a generation over the last 30, 40 years. That's why I include two generations. I think that is the biggest learning your generation will take from us. What is done is done. But if you can preserve nature, because nature feeds us at the end of the day, you, know, you get your basic food clothing and shelter from nature. If nature starts going against you, the battle is lost. So if you, as a generation, I think to the younger generations, please preserve nature, please grow natural resources, respect them, use them carefully, and you will see the progress. Maybe, maybe I should apologize on behalf of my generation saying that we have not known this, but some of us who understand this want to spread this way. So, have your organization taken this step to enhance it? So, we support, so as an organization, uh, we are an organization that raises funds for the other NGOs. So, we encourage a lot of the NGOs who come into environmental work, who are underprivileged, especially in, the, in educating children. Because one of our biggest things is if you can educate children of our underprivileged section of the society, they can tomorrow make a big difference. Because today, uneducated people are ignorant about some of these things. They don't know, they don't know what to protect, what not to protect. It's as simple as that. So, you heard the story about it, don't give a fish to a person who doesn't want to fish. We've actually tried to create a village of fishermen, not just one, one fisherman. So, that's our. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kill India is known for having an eminent class of entrepreneurs on its board. Executives who didn't choose the currency career but used their business acumen to give India the change to problems. The is Mr. Vikas Mitran, Vice President of Corporate Alliances and Operations at Gilead. He started out his career as an IT consultant in India, worked in the US for 9 years before moving to India to join the wider new economy. So, we, we are a non-profit uh, organization uh, and we are like a philanthropic exchange uh, which means we do a due diligence of NGOs, list them on our platform and we raise funds for these NGOs. So, these NGOs are already addressing various social issues. So, we cover about 10 social causes right from education. Uh, these are the ones who are implementing that but for them to implement they also require funding. Uh, so we are the ones who are raising funds for these NGOs 
and then they are the ones who are implementing. So when you say social enterprise, it will not be a not profit. You can be a profitable enterprise. It could be through a profitable enterprise as well. And I don't think there is harm or good or bad about it. Uh, as long as the social benefit is provided, uh, there is no harm in uh, making a profit. And probably the profit can plug back into you know growing that or sustaining that or you know. It's not about the salary. In those functions, they are not about the salary. So some of the people that we employ in those areas are people who are not really looking for the salary component. It is an organization founded in 2001 with a mission to sustain development in the underserved regions of India. It provides capital to the uh, identified entrepreneurs and then uh, supplements it with the natural environment for them to carry out their work. It met Mr. Prazeen Padhyam Little, one of the co-founders, the present executive director, as well as the chief investment officer of Avisha. With an illustrious education and background, Mr. Pradeep took a leap in his life with the desire to try something new but with responsibility. We are an investor, so we are an early stage investor. So we don't do anything great. We only just identify these people and we say, okay, you people know it. So we, if you need money, we we are maybe we may be able to help you. So they they come to us, we will give them some money. We will probably give them some suggestions, whatever we know, we can tell them. That was something very interesting for me. It was even a small thing. The whole idea of investing into early stage, underserved, rural, semi urban India to grow them and become a mainstream company seemed to be a very interesting idea. So that's what we call as game changing entrepreneurship. So we can't expect all the people living in Thar Desert to come and live in Bombay. So they will live where they are already living and hopefully they will but they also want banks, they also want hospitals, they also want toilets, they also want ATMs, they also want mobile apps, they also want Amazon to be able to access Amazon flip cards. Today they don't have that ability. So Bengal and, uh, and Assam and North East people are people want to send their children to these play schools but they didn't know that uh, play schools can exist in their neighborhood. Most of the play schools are in big cities. In every street in uh, Goregaon or Santa Cruz will have tens of them. But you will probably find only one of them in the entire district of uh, say Shillong or some place like that in, in northeast. So that is what we feel, that is what we are calling as uh, game changing entrepreneurship. It is not, you can call it social because uh, because we are going to places where other people normally don't go. Our company, so it's a combination of uh, some hard work, some serious involvement, some, some level of intelligence, and some good luck and fortune. So if you put all that together, you are able to get this. It's just that we have to deliver on our promises. Right? I mean, we have promised something and we have to deliver on it or we will be cheated. Sure. If you promise on something, we have, to, we have a responsibility to our investors, to people who have given us money in good faith, that we will go out there and, uh, and, and do all these things. So, so we have our uh, responsibility on both sides, to our investors on the one side and to our investees on the other side. We are Things will go wrong. You have to accept all these things. Things will go wrong. You will not have all the answers on day one. 
people will people will have a lot of wrong ideas on you day one. So it's based on your confidence in yourself. You need to have a lot of self confidence, self conviction, and ability that you will be able to manage through, through these situations. And uh, it's the same with us or with any of our entrepreneurs. Passion. If you know how to do it, capital will come in. Capital will chase you. Otherwise, it's not like how it works. If you really want to change the world, we need the every the seven billion people in the world together only can change. The world. life beyond money beyond attention beyond glory and beyond uber lavish lifestyles our documentary title beyond the limelight takes its inspiration from this very idea the personas we've described in the documentary have dedicated their lives to a greater cause and that is to serve the society to channelize one's business acumen in financially unrewarding endeavors takes some self convincing They don't want themselves flashing on prime time television. They don't wish to reign on front pages of newspapers either. All they want is a better society, be it education wise, income disparity or gender disparity, and they are making it happen. We can't commend enough the way these enterprising individuals and organizations have walked the walk and made a genuine difference. A specific learning from this project. One has to have the drive from within to make a difference. In other words, we shouldn't need someone else to push us to think and act. The desire in there eventually loses its purpose. A practical lesson for us from the project was that before venturing into social entrepreneurship, one should be financially self-sustainable. While social enterprises can very well function as profit-making bodies, financial backing early on is critical. Thank you.